What's up guys, it's Sam here. And today I'm just gonna do a video about like why it seems so unattainable for the average person in Ireland to actually own a home. If you're coming from a young age like myself, in around 20, around 25, you'd be possibly looking at wanting to get on the property market yourself. And why it kind of does seem so unattainable for people to buy inside where they live, it's just sort of, housing prices at the moment are pretty much at all time highs and it's causing it to become ever more unaffordable for people. So I'm going to take a look as a follow up to kind of like the renting in Cork video to actually buying a house in Cork and what how what you can get for your money and what an individual can uh, look to get as a, as a maximum as a mortgage like when they go about it like depending on what their salary is. So yeah like, like I'm going to take the average salary at around 30k gross um on this one and we'll just kind of go through like what you can actually expect to get what's available on the market currently what you can expect to get for your money and look we'll see why this stigma has come with it like and i think you'll probably understand why it has <laughs> so remember guys this is not financial advice like just because i'm saying this um doesn't mean whatever you want to do is can is different do your own research when looking into property and all that sort of stuff like you you know yourself like don't be doing anything because we tell you and remember to hit the like button hit the subscribe button it's been absolutely fantastic so far on youtube and we are going towards that 500 mark as quick as we possibly can so right guys i will see you in the video So guys, when you're looking at getting a property with your current salary, you kind of want to just multiply it by 3.5 times and then you kind of get a rough estimation of what it is. So the calculator I'm actually going to use to get some figures about this and so we can actually understand how much you can actually get and where it's all kind of coming from and how it is also relevant. And the kind of deposit that we're going to be aiming for is around 15k. And like if you're kind of interested in how you can possibly get to 15k, you might want to check out the renting in Cork video and you can see how long it will potentially take you to get to 15K in savings from how much rent you have. So it, yeah, it's quite alarming as well and how long it will potentially will take you to do that. So we're gonna start by selecting here, first time buyer, your mortgage will be a single applicant. And I'm gonna put the maximum age down to 25. How many children, zero children, but that's obviously not applicable to everyone, but just for this example, in my own personal situation, it will be zero children and annual salary. So we'll do a base average for around 30K. And over time, we won't include it because everybody is actually is different in that case. And are you permanently employed or self-employed for the last two years? So you kind of want to probably be working for at least two years when you're getting involved in um, potentially setting up a mortgage. So yes, you do want to be selecting that. So any monthly loan repayments, that's also up to the individual. Do you have any loan repayments? Personally, I don't. So for this example, I'm not gonna be putting in any loan repayments. So average rent in Cork between 550, 600 a month, depending on what your situation is, if you're living in one bed or living in um, uh, with other people, but I'm gonna do 550 just for somewhere towards the middle. And so how much have you saved so far? So hopefully we're gonna go with 15,000 as a deposit. We're not getting a gift to in this situation. And how much are we saving each month? So I'm gonna roughly do, probably saving, hopefully saving around 300. If you're not investing, you hopefully be aiming for around 300 if you're applying for a mortgage in the six months previous to that. So when are you hoping to buy? Now, as soon as possible. No particular preference. If it's pre-owned, new build or whatever, not a particular preference on that. And are we in any arrears on a credit card or a loan? So that is also up to the individual, but for this example, no, we're not. So we agree to these terms, finish. And now we just wait until it shows us how much mortgage we can get. <laughs> okay, so the buying budget that this will give us is 120K, total positive 15K, mortgage 105K, and a total repayment of 375 a month. So, that's what that's what you get um, with a 30k mortgage and then now we're just going to actually see what can you get with that around cork 
and uh, maybe you just have a look at some other towns and you'll actually see uh, how what you can actually get for this money however this budget actually does actually increase if you're looking to buy a new build so a new build you have a buying budget of 133,000. total deposit though is a lot higher at 28,000, and your mortgage is still um 105,000 and your monthly repayments are 375. So if you want to get a new build, you have to have a higher deposit, but um, yeah, which probably take you another few years to even save up that amount of money. Um, so yeah, that's just worth mentioning too. But yeah, look, we'll have a look now what we can actually get, what's on the market, what's on Daft and what is available. So guys, let's take a look at what we can get with our cash pile that we can get with our 30K more, 130K mortgage. So in Cork, Cork City, so yeah, Cork City. Let's have a look and put in our price max 125k just to be exact. So there's seven properties for sale in Cork City for under 125k. Um, probably the things that most people are not interested in. Um, like they're kind of not in, so I can some say not the best areas. Um, these are actually sites, so you have to build them, so knock them off. So there's only five sites this is a commercial unit something else you can take off um so you can see there's a lack here of um of, the, uh, of properties available for people to buy with their standard mortgage so you're probably going to need to be going in with someone if you were a partner a girlfriend all that kind of stuff then you can actually look at possibly increasing your mortgage because you have uh, the additional income so these this is something that you consider as well but for an individual it is extremely difficult to get on the property ladder um, with the, the amount of money that you can buy it so if you're looking at other locations like you can add in maybe looking at the like, Clon Mel and surrounding areas to Ferrari and there's yeah, 14 properties like so here you can actually you can get a, a nice well, you can get a nice general house you can get a house four bed three bed house um not too sure what the areas are like but you can get it more so affordably than you can in cork but most again it's sites and stuff like that so yeah like the availability of property in ireland is extremely low and you get very little for your money um so that's why it's just extremely difficult and it seems so unattainable for a lot of people like so if you're increasing your wealth maybe you're, you're earning 50k a year you can you can get what's like, around 175,000 like so if we go back to back to cork come on go back to cork city done and we add in 175,000 and then we'll put the minimum at the 125k and we'll see what is there yeah okay so there's more options here like you can get a bit more they're still probably not the nicest of things but you can still get it you can get more and um, when you're under 50 50 000. so obviously then your deposit will increase as well when bidding on these kind of properties like but you do get more options but yeah for the people that are earning low amount of money to own your own property here and to save for it is extremely difficult like especially when you're paying rent and um, it's a huge amount of money that you could be saving you're just you're just handing it then to like uh, a landlord or whatever so you're kind of taking it out of your own pocket and just increasing the wealth of someone else so these are a lot of the reasons why it seems to be so unattainable um for people or yeah, young people our age like just don't really seem to seem to think that they have a chance of getting on the property market like it is achievable it is an achievable goal like but it might take you a good while to get there like if you are earning your thirty thousand a year and and you're looking to buy a property like you're not going to get one in the big cities like that is um like nice or up to standard like you might get something that you have to put a bit of work into and to renovate it and do it up but if you are earning a bit more towards the fifty thousand mark you can get a property like it is available to you there is options there at the moment and it's like comments like the property market like it is ever increasing at the moment it is on fire it's increasing massively the value is going up crazy and 
that that kind of thing like it, you could work, wait until it's a downturn market like to make your first purchase like if it's going to be like an investment property or whatever but a lot of people are in a position where they want to get their first family home and get it underway so that situation is different like so that's where the demand is absolutely outstripping how much is there available in ireland and that's why we are causing a bit of a, uh, causing this housing crisis because uh, most people just want to get their first home and be able to start their families and kind of get on with their lives um, so yeah look it, it's a difficult situation it's difficult one to correct and look they're, they're well, trying but they're not really building as many houses to meet the demand so until the demand starts to plateau and we have enough supply these prices are going to keep increasing like so it is available to get on the property market i haven't myself got on the property market but we know that gino has got on the property market in clonmel where he's bought an apartment where you can check that video out as well so guys that just brings us just to the end of the video like this is my comments on like how it is attainable but it is difficult to get on the property market in ireland and we'll all get there eventually but it does take a little bit of work so thanks guys thanks a lot for for listening to this video i hope that you enjoyed this hopefully you got a bit of knowledge and a bit of insight out of it and just remember just a few things like join our free discord check out the sponsor of 35 millimeter vintage and also if you want some free bitcoin check down nexo and block fight down below and remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye bye